Well, we seem to be having our um, first true bit of misty night here, as you can probably see. Unfortunately, I don't have the car here, and I'm filming on aquarium setting. So hopefully, with aquarium setting, I should have. I'm just seeing if I get true to life colour with the uh, the torch so if I just check that with the uh, the colour of the roadside there okay and I thought I'd just walk down here and I've got the shroud on so hopefully the shroud uh, may actually uh, prevent some of these little fine misty droplets from forming on the lens of the camera and that reminds me, I don't think I cleaned, cleaned the lens of the camera since the uh, last drive out, so... Well, this would be a good test to see where the light's coming through the, the mist. I don't know how much I've got on the card. I, I don't seem to be able to wipe the card either. It doesn't seem to be coming up. Yeah, I checked the tang on the card. It didn't look like it'd been... Uh, maybe it's just a glitch or something. Anyway, we'll see how we go. So I had a couple of uh, couple of misty times in the day. Uh, I probably missed one day going out in the mist, but uh, this is probably the first true misty night of the season. of frogs and flowing water tonight it's had a bit of a rain not much but uh, anyway I just thought I'd do that and uh, I should walk up here and uh, finish it off with the just see what uh, it looks like going looking through here before I change settings and try something else I've still got a mount on the car really. But I think we're about set to do the glid this season without any of the bubble wrap or anything. I just, I've learnt new things with new settings and uh, with flash. I've got three settings now I can try with at night time with flash. I've got uh, uh, beach night scene, I've got snow night scene and I've got this one which is aquarium night scene with flash. And for videoing, um, the... Uh, the fireworks doesn't actually fire the flash off unless I can adjust it by reading the instruction manual or something. But uh, so far the best is snow and I haven't tried aquarium uh, night scene videoing in the car yet. But uh, depending on how this torch went tonight we should be able to work out whether it's a viable option or not. And uh, as of I think it was yesterday or the day before uh, I noticed that the old hypothesis, uh, an old hypothesis, uh, has borne some fruit, so I've got to go back and do some more work. It never ends, it really doesn't. But hopefully, um, we'll get to the final run now, and something pretty exciting at the end of the journey, I think. Something really, I think it's going to come out of left field out of this one. So, uh, yeah, something we didn't quite expect <laughs> oh we've got some water down here fast at last well there you go I'll pop some glid seeds to... jeez what has been going on there some of the kids been playing mud pies or something I don't know yeah. 
I mean, that's Caterpillar tractor there, but that looks like the kids have been playing mud pies on the way to school or something. But anyway, uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll see what happens as a car coming, so I think. There's usually a bus that comes through here about 4 o'clock in the morning uh, between Saturday into Sunday. It's an odd one. It doesn't happen any other time of the week, I don't think so. I filmed it um, twice and put it online, but uh, I suppose there's nothing like filming it going through the mist, so maybe I should be back here at 4 o'clock and film the bus coming through. Okay. Anyway, I might try another setting now. Well, I think we have tried those settings, haven't we? Yeah, I think we have. You'd be kicking yourself if, if it, this was the bus that I turned the camera just off as it came around the corner. Anyway, but I don't think it is. I think we're about, but it's another half an hour to go or something like that. Anyway, over and out for now.